In the name of the Father, and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat, and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. My dear friends, today is Saturday. We celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary. As we begin our celebration, we once again acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves for a meaningful celebration of these sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, Lord that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The following message came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Stand at the gate of the house of the Lord, and there proclaim this message. Hear the word of the Lord, all you of Judah, who enter these gates to worship the Lord. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel. Reform your ways and your deeds, so that I may remain with you in this place. Put not your trust in the deceitful words. This is the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord. Only if you thoroughly reform your ways and your deeds if each of you deals justly with his neighbor, if you no longer oppress the resident alien, the orphan, and the widow, if you no longer shed innocent blood in this place or follow with strange gods to your own harm, will I remain with you in this place, in the land I gave your fathers long ago and forever? But here you are, putting your trust in deceitful words to your own loss. Are you to steal and murder, commit adultery and perjury, burn incense to Baal, go after strange gods that you know not, and yet come to stand before me in this house which bears my name and say, we are safe. We can commit all these abominations again. Has this house which bears my name become in your eyes a den of thieves? I, too, see what is being done, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. My soul yearns and pines for the curse of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. Even the sparrow finds a home and the swallow a nest in which she puts her young, your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King 
and my God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. Blessed they who dwell in your house. Continually they praise you. Blessed the man whose strength you are. They go from strength to strength. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. I had rather one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I had rather lie at the threshold of the house of my God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. Please stand. Humbly welcome the word that has been planted in you and is able to save your souls. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus proposed a parable to the crowds. The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a man who sowed good seed in his field. While everyone was asleep, his enemy came and sowed weeds all through the wheat and then went off. When the crop grew and bore fruit, the weeds appeared as well. The slaves of the householder came to him and said, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where have the weeds come from? He answered, An enemy has done this. His slaves said to him, Do you want us to go and pull them up? He replied, No. If you pull up the weeds, you might uproot the wheat along with them. Let them grow together until harvest. Then at harvest time, I will say to the harvesters, First, collect the weeds and tie them in bundles for burning, but gather the wheat into my barn. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. There's an old play uh, that was made into a movie, Tanda na po ito, uh, Lumana. And the title of the movie was Fiddler on the Roof. Uh, yung nagbabiolin sa, sa bubong. You might have asked, bakit naman sa bubong magbabiolin? No? And uh, I also asked that question, and I was uh, told, and in uh, my reading, para daw yun yung sinasabi na yung buhay na yung tao ay parang fiddler on the roof. Laging nagahanap ng tamang balanse. Balanse. Uh, in fact, sa buhay natin, napakahalaga yung pagbabalance. Oras na lang. Oras para sa trabaho, oras para sa pamilya. Kaya nga yung mga mag-asawa rito, nanay, tatay, uh, uh, kadalasang pinag, uh, pinagsisimula ng gulo kapag walang oras, kapag uh, hindi nakabalanse yung oras sa trabaho at oras uh, para sa pamilya, awayan. No? Uh, oras din, uh, babalansihin din yung mga kahit na sa ating kalikasan, kailangan din balansihin. So our life is actually, uh, balance is very important sa, sa buhay ng, ng tao. In the gospel that we read today, Ganon din po yung isa sa mga pinatutunguhan at pinatutungkulan ng binasa nating Ibanghelyo. And when I read the Gospel, I asked myself, siguro ito yung tamang pagbabalanse ng awa at saka ng hustisya. Yan yung isa sa mga tanong natin sa buhay, di ba? Bakit uh, ganito, gumagawa ako ng kabutihan and all of a sudden, ay nak mas nakikita ko na mas namamayagpag yung kakilala ko na kapag ka magpautang, 5-6. Kapag ka ganito yung klase ng buhay. I know you have that question. Uh, we have that question always. Bakit parang hindi balanse? Eh? Bakit parang uh, hindi makatarungan? Sabi nga natin, no? parang hindi makatarungan na kung sino pa yung mga 
uh, hindi gumagawa ng tama, siya pa yung nagiging maalwan yung buhay. Kung sino pa yung mga alam mo na shady yung karakter, sila pa yung medyo nakakaluwag talaga. Sila pa yung mga namumuno minsan. And we ask that question. You might not articulate it, but you keep that and then you talk to God about it. Bakit ganun, Lord? No? Nasaan ang kustisya? In the gospel that we read today, maaring sinagot ng ating Panginoon yung mga tanong na yan. Because that question of yours is also the same question asked by, uh, by, the, uh, by the people in the parable na binasa natin, in the story the, na binasa natin dito sa Ibanghelyo. No? Uh, the Lord sowed good seed and all of a sudden, yung, uh, yung halamanan o yung taniman ay hindi lang yung good seed yung tumaba kundi yung mga marami pang iba yung dumabas. The weeds came out. And then nagtaka sila, Lord, did we not, did you not planted good seed? What happened? And the Lord said, I see the hand of an enemy here. Bibihira pong gamitin ng ating Panginoon yung salitang enemy. But in the gospel that we read today, uh, it was mentioned in the gospel. Meaning to say, na malinaw kaagad na hindi maganda yung intention, ma malinaw kaagad that that person or that force or that element is on the other side of good. No? Kaya nga, uh, ang, ang recommendation, Lord, can we, uh, this is strict justice, Lord, would you like us to go to the field and pull out the weeds so that uh, the good seed, the wheat, that you planted ay mas may elbow room na tumaba. And we were surprised in the gospel that we read that sabi ng Panginoon, hindi, hayaan mo muna sila. Because when you do that, you might, uh, you might sacrifice the good seed that was planted there. And you might pull it up also. And then they too will suffer. This is what you're going to do. What will happen is that during harvest time, in other words, let them grow together, but during harvest time, when you harvest them, put the, the wheat on one side and put it in my barn, and then the weeds, you put it aside and then burn it, and then burn it. Um, this is something that is very consoling for all of us, na ang daming tanong na ganoon sa buhay natin. Bakit? The question of evil is always a perennial question. Ibig sabihin, magmula noon hanggang ngayon, and even the future generation will continue to ask that. And the gospel that we read today is very instructive of what the, the Lord has in mind. Merong maganda, kanina sabi ko po, paano natin babalansihin yung awa at saka yung hustisya uh, sa mga magulang, ganun din. No? At some point, Paano mo pagagalitan? At some point, may tough love kayo na mga ginagawa sa inyong mga mahal sa buhay para magtanda. Di ba? No? Kapag ka, minsan hindi mo kakausapin. Para magtanda. Uh, yung mga usual na ibinibigay mo, hindi mo muna ibinibigay para magtanda. Tough love. We say that as tough love. But it's still, nonetheless, it's still love. In, dito sa binasa nating Ibanghelyo, ganun din po ang uh, ang ang uh, pinapaalala sa atin ng Panginoon. Uh, may awa ang Diyos, pero may hustisya din ang Diyos. And that is something that we should not also forget. Merong tolerance, in fact, no, our God is a very tolerant God. No? Uh, nagu minsan, eh, uh, pinapayagan na lang tayo sa mga kalukuhan natin, pero may hangganan, di ba? May hangganan. No? And growing up, we learn that the hard way. No? We learn that the hard way. Pwedeng may kalukuhan ka, matutuwa yung mga matatanda, eh, pilyo, pilyo tong batang to. No? But once you cross the line, ah, nako, makikita mo yung galit ng lolo at makikita, mararamdaman mo yung galit ng tatay. Once you cross the line. Balanse ang ating Panginoon. Awa at hustisya. In the gospel, ang ganda sapagkat bakit tinayaan na mag-grow pa yung mga weeds? 
if we're going to reflect on this, perhaps this is the time given to us by the Lord na makapag-isip-isip man lang, mabigyan ng tamang panahon para mapag-isipan yung ating mga ginagawa sa buhay and in the end, magbago. Yung time na yun. So in the gospel that we read today, ang ganda sapagkat it's not only telling us how to balance justice and mercy, but also it's reminding us, number one, that may hustisya ang Panginoon. Kaya yung mga nagtatanong at nawawalan na ng pag-asa, o kayong mawalan ng pag-asa, may final reckoning. No? The barn, the good seed, the wheat, meron laging final reckoning. At pangalawa, we are also given ample time, sufficient time, na mapag-isipan at mapagnilayan yung ating mga sariling buhay. And then configure it according to the will and to the wishes ng ating Panginoon sa ating lahat. Kindly all stand. As a frail and weak people, we bring our petitions before our Heavenly Father, who in His mercy and love wants us to be saved and to come to the knowledge of truth. Let your response be, Merciful God, sustain us in your goodness. Merciful God, sustain us in your goodness. The church leaders may always work for the good of souls, especially of the poor and the less privileged. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful God, sustain us in your goodness. That those entrusted with the delivery of justice may be fair in their judgments. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful God, sustain us in your goodness. That as a community, we may recogni recognize the goodness in each other instead of condemning other one another for each other's shortcomings. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful God, sustain us in your goodness. That the sick and those who suffer may be consoled by the truth of God's love for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful God, sustain us in your goodness. That those who have died may enjoy the harvest of everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful God, sustain us in your goodness. We also pray in a very special way for all the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, for their welfare, for their health and safety. We pray to the Lord. Merciful God, sustain us in your goodness. I would pause for a while and in silence you may now offer your personal intentions. Heavenly Father, may the power of your love always sustain us. Help us not to get distracted by the cares of the world and not to be overcome by evil in our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us a bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, through the divine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for the good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Father, most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured this passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. The fount of all holiness, may call it therefore this gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake on the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now we offer to one another the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, behold our merciful and just God, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ. Please stand.
Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may by imitating her serve worthily the misery of our redemption. To Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Before I give the final blessing, maraming salamat po sa pagdalaw ninyo sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag at sa pakikiisa sa Banal na Misa. Patuloy po kayo makaasa ng aming mga panalangin magmula dito sa Basilica Minore at para sa inyo. At kami rin po ay humihiling ng inyong mga panalangin para sa mga proyekto at mga gawain namin dito sa Basilica Minore. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And the Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ascended, go in peace to love and serve the Lord through one another. Thanks, Thanks. be to God. We shall now say the prayer for the blessing po na mga may sakit. May sakit dito, nasa bahay, nasa hospital. We pray for them. And also after that, we bless your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Para naman sa inyong religious articles, we bless them. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may your religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.